Hey guys, welcome back to another Aftermath video. Today we are covering loot. This took a while to make, so if you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. We have a lot to get into today, so let's get right into it. So first off, we're taking a look at the low tier loot locations on the map. You can identify them by the white name on the map. So starting off at the sawmill. At the sawmill, there are some garages with some shooting ranges. The shooting range garages usually have some good military loot. You can find some military weapons, ammunition, attachments, and the caches located inside of the garages. The other parts of the garages usually have foodstuffs and clothes. Upstairs in one of the garages you can find supply crates. These usually hold ammunition. At the guard shack, you'll sometimes see some health items and ammunitions. Nothing else at sawmill besides the caches and supply crates. Don't go here if you're looking for water or drinks, but it's not a bad place to spawn. Next up is Crescent Grove. Crescent Grove is just filled with houses. Lots of houses in the game have American flags on the outside, and those houses usually have lots of ammunition. Most houses have the same basic things. Foodstuffs in the kitchen along with the occasional ammunition and civilian gun drop. Bedrooms have clothes and sometimes civilian weapons and ammunition. And the desks inside of the room sometimes have antibiotics, batteries, and foodstuffs. Almost all bathrooms in the game have dirty water. Other than that, there's not too much in the houses. However, sometimes you can find houses with a hidden entrance. Down the stairs of the hidden entrance, you can find military loot too, so be on the lookout for those. Here's a hint. There's one of those houses in Redfield. Now for the radio tower. The radio tower has the station below and the tower itself. Outside of the station, you can see some abandoned cars. They sometimes have food, ammunition, and the occasional handgun. Inside of the station, you have a desk area usually filled with lots of ammunition, a saxophone, a supply room with not much in it, and another office room with more desks. Up the tower, you can see a cache that has ammunition, and it sometimes has attachments and military loot as well. Next to the cache, there's a laptop. You can insert the blue mysterious floppy disk and call in an airdrop for free. Around the rest of the tower, there are some desks and supply crates with some weapons and clothes loot. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how do I get the mysterious floppy disk? There are two mysterious floppy disks inside of the game. One of them's blue, one of them's black. The only way that you can obtain a mysterious floppy disk is by getting them from a zombie drop. Next is Flat Peaks and Pine Hill. These places have the same loot as Crescent Grove, just a bunch of houses with foodstuffs and civilian weapons. The only thing worth noting is that Flats Peak, there's a barn. These barns are scattered around the map. On the ground level of the barn, there are some spawns for some clothes, food, and supplies. But up the ladder is where the better loot is. You can usually find weapons and ammunition up here, as well as tack clothing. Tack clothing has better storage than regular clothing. But other than that, that's it for these locations. Lastly, we have industrial. Other than loads of zombies, you can find some decent loot here. There are some garages here with some scrap, biofuel, and supplies. Inside the vehicle shops, you can find some ammunition, abandoned cars, and food. That's it for the low tier locations. Next are the mid tier loot locations. You can identify these on the map with their yellow names. These include Survivor Camp, Paradise, Redfield, Chestnut Oaks, Bomb Shelter, 
Quarry, Quarry Military Base, and almost the town. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't waste your time at Chestnut Oaks and almost the town. The loot here is not very good. Same as the low tier loot locations in my opinion. Just a bunch of houses. There are some apartments in almost the town and some shops, but nothing worth going out of your way for. They have the occasional weapon, supplies, foodstuffs, and clothing. There is a building worth taking a look at though. It would be the office building. Up the stairs is an office area. These have desks and a manager's room. Sometimes the manager's room has civilian weapons and attachments. Around the map, you'll also see these shops and apartment houses. They don't have much besides food and supplies. Shops and restaurants usually have foodstuffs, including dirty water. Next, we're headed to the Quarry Military Base. Here we can see our first military tents. Military tents are located all over the map, and they usually have loot containing weapons, ammo, attachments, and the occasional medkit. At the Quarry Military Base, there's a barracks. Barracks usually have bunk chests with clothes and food, as well as some cabinets with more clothes and foodstuffs. You can also see there are military garages here. You can identify them with the tanks, Humvees, and shipping containers located inside of them. You can find some military weapons inside of the caches located inside of these garages. You can see there's a two-story building at the Quarry Military Base. This has some basic supplies, a little bit of foodstuffs, as well as military weapon spawns. Next, we're headed down to the quarry. This place has the highest amount of zombies on the map in any one location, so beware. In the corner of the quarry, there's a little hidden location. Apparently, here you can find a truck that has been stuck, <laughs> as well as some good military loot with weapons, attachments, and ammunition. Next, we are arriving at the bomb shelter. Below, you have a vehicle area with some basic supplies, a server room for electronic scrap, and some biofuel on occasion. Heading up to the shelter itself are a few tents and supply crates with weapons and ammo. Inside the bunker, you'll see a computer, generator, and a locked hatch door. To access the bunker, you need to have obtained a mysterious black floppy disk, and as well as some biofuel. Insert the fuel into the generator to give power to the facility. Then insert the floppy disk into the computer. You can now open the hatch and gain access to lots of military loot as well as foodstuffs located inside of the bunker. Now, everybody's favorite city, Paradise. Paradise has everything you'll need here. Military tents with weapons, ammo, med kits, restaurants with lots of food, office spaces with some supplies and weapon spawns. There seems to be a magnet at the police station that attracts all of the players. The police station has lots of guns, ammunition, and attachment spawns. The police station has three entrances with roof access as well. That's important to know if you need a way out. On the outside of town, you'll see more apartments. There are just some civilian weapons with foodstuffs and supplies, just like the houses. On the outside of town, there's also a water tower with a spawn up at the top. In Paradise, you'll also see repair shops that have basic supplies and biofuel as well as a fire station. Fire stations usually have weapons and some high capacity clothing. Now we're headed to my personal favorite spot on the map, the survivor camp. This place seems like a great spot to PVP at. 
Up at the top of the survivor cam, there's a generator where you can insert biofuel and watch the place come to life. Between the hum of the generator and the lights that have turned on, this place has completely transformed. Now that the generator's on, you can now open up the gate or close it to gain access to the rest of the map with your vehicle. At the top of the camp, there's not much loot. However, at the bottom on the road, you'll see some abandoned cars and a military truck. This military truck has a weapon spawn in it where you can find guns, attachments, or ammunition. Now go into Redfield. Redfield greets us with the motel. Inside motels, you can find everything you'll need. Civilian weapons, supplies, and foodstuffs. Great place to loot. Redfield also has a hospital. Inside the hospital, you'll find some medical supplies like bandages and antibiotics. As well, inside the cafeteria, you'll find some foodstuffs. Outside of the hospital are some military tents and some hazmat tents. You can find some basic supplies in the hazmat tents. And you can find some weapons, ammo, and medkits inside the military tents. Redfield also has apartments, repair shops, an ammunition store, and a fire station. Redfield is a great place to loot and in a great spot to find other players as well. The good old military airfield. Airfield has lots of great high tier loot but is heavily trafficked with players and zombies alike. So be careful. At the airfield, you'll see there are hangars. These usually have weapons, ammunition, and crafting supplies. You can also find military garages here with more weapons and ammunition. Up the ATC tower, you'll have lots of computers and desks the cash and other supplies. You can usually find players or weapons here. Down the stairs there are some desks with some basic supplies. As well on the ground floor you can find some medical items. Across one of the runways there are some barracks with some clothes and hazmat tents. Overall the airfield has lots of high tier loot. This is one of the best spots to loot inside of the game. Now we're headed to the prison. There are a few ways to enter the prison, making it a great way to ambush people or get out of there when you're in trouble. Inside of the prison, you'll find clothes, guns, ammunition, and medical supplies. This is an okay spot to loot. I just don't seem to find as many weapons as I'd like there. I would not go out of your way to go to the prison at all. The guard towers usually have some ammunition, sometimes some weapons, but other than that, not much foodstuffs. The last spot is the nuclear power plant. The power plant has a fire station with weapons, clothing, and food. The power plant also has hazmat tents with some okay supplies and some military tents with ammo. Inside of the reactor itself, you can find lots of weapons, ammunition, making it just a great place to loot. There is also roof access with more ammo and tents. At the power plant you'll also see some guard shacks, offices, and garages for some basic supplies. Overall, the power plant is one of the best places to loot inside of the game.